Hello, I'm Adriana Benavides and we are going to talk about one musician and one artist with artwork on display at the Contemporary Arts Museum, Houston. We are going to answer questions as we learn and you will need a piece of paper and something to write with like a pencil. The creativity of famous Houston, Texas musician Robert Earl Davis Jr., known as DJ Screw, inspired the exhibition called Slowed and Throwed, Records of a City Through Mutated Lenses. An exhibition is a place where art objects are on display and people are able to come and see the objects. There are 19 artists in this exhibition and we will focus on DJ Screw and artist Robert Hodge. Together, we will closely look at Robert Hodge's collages and how DJ Screw inspired him and his work. Let's start our close looking and draw something about music. Write down a memory you have that has to do with music. Will your drawing be a place you hear music like church or your family's car? Is it the happy birthday song or a song from a television show? Pause the video and write or draw your musical memory. My musical memory is a family in my childhood neighborhood enjoying the sounds of live music and eating barbecue in their yard. I drew everyone happy because the music makes me think of families celebrating someone's birthday and dancing together. Your drawing or writing is now an archive of your memory. An archive is made up of objects, letters, documents, photographs, and other things that relate to a person or place's history. In the exhibition, there is an archive of DJ Screw's papers, photographs, and objects to help us learn more about his music and remember him. The Houston musician is known for a special kind of music he called Chopped and Screw. From his neighbors to the Houston music community, many became very excited about his music and he was able to create a business that his family still owns to this day. In an archive dedicated to the musician, we can see the covers of his personal record collection and the variety of genres represented from hip hop to funk to pop. Here's a photo of DJ Screw by photographer Ben DeSoto of DJ Screw in his music studio. What you see is DJ Screw holding and what fills the boxes are vinyl records. Vinyl records are round and protected by square paper covers, which give more information about the musician and the music. DJ Screw's personal collection of vinyl records are on display in the museum as a part of the archive. What is something in your surroundings that would be good to archive in order to tell someone something about your life right now? Why do you think it's important to show DJ Screw's tools? Pause and write down a response. I would archive the dog bed I made for my dog because it shows my creativity. For fans of DJ Screw to see his handwriting on notes, his receipts from music shopping trips, and his physical tools is inspiring to new musicians. These are some of the actual tapes that DJ Screw used to record his very unique music mixes on and then he would sell them to his fans. People enjoyed listening to his music in their beautiful cars called slabs. DJ Screw also asked other musicians to write down words to express their feelings on top of the music. Here is a painting by El Franco Lee II where we see DJ Screw and the other musicians with him showing us all the activity in his creative space. Who inspires you to think differently? What item or items would you want to see if you could not meet this person? What would be important belongings of this person to archive to tell a story? Pause the video and respond. DJ Screw created something new using music on the vinyl records. We can call him a sound artist because of the new type of music he created 
for our ears to hear. A visual artist is someone who uses images to create new ideas that we understand with our eyes. Robert Hodge is a visual artist who grew up in Houston and listened to DJ Screw's music. Many of his friends and neighbors did too in the Houston neighborhood Fifth Ward. Like DJ Screw, one of Robert Hodge's tools is vinyl records. Remember, Robert is a visual artist, so his artwork does not have sound. We do not need our ears, but we use our eyes. Let's look closely at Robert Hodge's collages on paper from vinyl record covers and write two more tools that you think he uses to make his artwork. I will give you a clue. You may have used these materials in your classroom when you were working on an art project with construction paper. Pause on the image of the work. Did you write down a pair of scissors and a glue bottle? Great job! And as we look closely at Robert's work, we notice the layer of images are not all one picture. So we know he cut different pictures. His artwork has texture, which means we can see through the rough edges between each picture and the center letters. Today, we have a digital archive, but records are the same material DJ Screw used to create his music. We can say the same for Robert Hodges' collages as we notice musicians like Elvis Presley from the 1950s and rappers from the 1980s. You can notice the deep layers of the covers by looking closely at the shadows created and the negative space or cutout of the words. Just like DJ Screw, who used all kinds of different music for his tapes, in Robert Hodge's collages, we can see different kinds of people, boys and girls, black people, white people, and even Count Dracula from Sesame Street. You can notice the deep layers of the covers by looking closely at the shadows created. Where is this square shape from? Correct. The square shape is from the protective paper covers from the vinyl records. Name a person or a thing that makes you want to invent or create something no one has seen before. How can you use something that already exists and improve it? Write a list of steps you would take to archive this adventure. Pause the video and write down a response. What did you learn about music and art today? Share it with your classmates and family about what you learned. We are so proud of you for looking and responding to artwork from the Contemporary Arts Museum Houston, and we hope you enjoy both music and art today. Maybe you'll see an artwork with no sound, but it's very musical like Robert Hodges' collages. Have a great day, artist!